Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Road to the Knockouts is here in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team today. The brand new promo featuring live cards. Yes, they are confirmed live cards for the Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League all dropping inside of the game today. I want to take you through what I think is going to be a huge day on FIFA this Friday and also talk about the objectives, the SBCs, and what is going to happen with this crazy market as we have a lot of people selling cards, a lot of packs that are going to be opened, and what's going to be going on with this game today on Friday. So if you're hyped for the promo today, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. But let's take a look at these loading screens because there are two of them that we saw yesterday inside of FIFA. Now, only one of them is showing right now, and that's one that's like hinting at what cards might be released today. But let's talk about how these cards work. This first loading screen they dropped yesterday confirms how this promo is going to work. Basically, this is road to the final as we know it from previous years in FIFA, but we're just starting earlier, right? So right now we're on the road to get to the knockout stages. We're not quite on the road to the final yet, if that makes sense, right? So that's why this is called road to the knockouts. These are going to be the same thing and the equivalent of live UCL live items, Europa League live items that we have had in previous FIFAs. They just have some different ways that they're going to upgrade since we are not yet at the knockout stages and going to the final, we are going to the knockouts again. So this was a loading screen yesterday. It looks like there's at least two ways that these cards will upgrade. Qualify for the knockout stage in a current competition. So inside the tables, right, for Europa League, Champions League, and the Conference League, if a team qualifies for that knockout stage, they're going to get an upgrade, right? And if they win three games out of their next four group stage matches, which these start back up this coming Tuesday, so we're going to have games happening live while these cards are in packs. It's going to be mad awesome. It's going to be so much fun to trade with them and follow them during those games. Um, but that's another way these cards can upgrade as well. So thinking about how that's going to work out, they're very similar to Road to the Final cards. Um, it's just that those upgrades are probably going to be delayed a little bit, right? And we're going to talk about this a little more as we learn about them tomorrow. But these cards that are going to be released inside of FIFA, uh, basically today on Friday, a lot of them most likely won't upgrade for at least two, three, four weeks, maybe even a month as we get to like match day five. That's going to be probably around the time when a team that's won all their games is going to qualify technically for the knockout stage. So we're going to have to read the fine print to figure out when these cards are going to upgrade. But it looks like there could be some really, really cool live cards out. And again, these cards are just so fun because you can watch your favorite team or watch some of your favorite players and these live cards and how they move around on the market based on how that team does in real life. So that's how the cards are going to upgrade. We're going to find out more along those lines today as well. Here are some hints that EA have given us on the current loading screen. We've got a Europa League card, striker, 83 dribbling. Some think, some think this might be Mikel Antonio. Some think this might be Jamie Vardy, right? Both options that would fit a stat upgrade with this 83 dribbling. This one in the middle, people are saying could be Goretzka, right? Go, get, imagine a Goretzka special card. That's throwing it back to what was that FIFA 20 vibes with the like 95 rated when Bayern won the UCL. You had a 95 rated Goretzka road to the final. I mean, this card could be insane with some upgrades. And even with this first initial boost, these cards that come out today will be boosted off of their base card stats. That's one thing that you should expect to see. So this one might be Goretzka, might be Lautaro Martinez. There's tons of options for who this could be here in the middle. And in this Conference League card, some people are saying it's Karsdorp from Roma. I'm kind of hoping that it's Emerson, the right back for Spurs. But again, a lot of mystery with these cards that are on the loading screen at the moment. One interesting small note I want to point out is notice this uh, Conference League card design. A lot of people like it because it looks pretty cool. This was the actual card design added to the database. Again, uh, it was this is the legit card design. It looks maybe a little bit different than the one on the loading screen just when you see it up, for, up front and close and in full color. But that is the full card design that was tweeted out by Leveled Up and Footwatch basically retweeted this. But again, what you're expecting to see today are cards that are going to get boosted from the launch and they're going to be upgrading as we head towards the end of the knockout stage. And we're going to have to find out as well, there's probably going to be a promo page like this released for Road to the Knockouts today. I'm really curious to see if these cards end up turning into Road to the Final items and if they're going to run a Road to the Final promo later on this year. That's what I'm really, really curious to see 
on this game. But if you think about Road to the Final and you think about these cards that were in the game last year, let's talk about the items and packs and content for a second. I am expecting to see today on the market probably 11 to 14 brand new promo cards, right? When they released ones to watch cards, they released 11 of them per team with four uh, with three extra on Sunday. I do think that today you'll either see, boom, here they are, UCL Road to the Knockouts, UCEL Road to the Knockouts, and the UEL. The cards are already in the game right now, which is a big dub. Usually sometimes these come out late, but they are actually in the game right now. That is nice to see. So uh, we're going to be seeing these cards on the market today. But if you think about content and objectives, again, probably 11 to 14 cards in packs. And if you remember some of the objective cards and SBCs that we had for Road to the Finals last year, we had some insane objectives. Think about Kunde, right? Think about SBCs like Mason Mount, like Alexandro, right? Maybe didn't get the biggest upgrades, but some cards, especially Kunde, that were used for so long in this game. I 100% think, think today on Friday, we will see an objective player either a Europa League, maybe a Champions League, road to the final card, and or a road to the knockout. Sorry, I keep saying road to the final because it's just it's just the nature, right? That's how these cards look. But uh, these road to the knockout versions, I think you will see one SBC and one objective today on Friday, 100%. And then again, 11 to 14 cards and packs. We will see a team probably tweeted out. Now also, there is gonna be an early release. I think the actual Champions League Twitter page is gonna be releasing some of the ratings an hour before the actual content drop. We're gonna be watching that live, following along on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the foot accountant. So if you're not involved there, make sure you get involved. But let's talk about the rest of this game, right? And what is big for today on Friday market-wise, right? Let's talk about market. A lot of people, maybe you included, have some saved packs like I do. I finished the playoffs and qualifying for uh, the weekend league finals, so I've got a couple packs and I'm gonna save them, right? Because why not? I might as well open when the new cards are dropping into the game tomorrow. There's gonna be a lot of supply from saved up packs because we haven't had, I mean, once to watch team two was in packs until Wednesday, but a lot of people have saved their rivals rewards, saved their playoff rewards, and done marquee matchups and done some SBCs to get packs and hold those packs for the promo today. So I'm gonna be honest and say, there's gonna be a lot of pack supply today. It's gonna be a big day on the market. And you know, what it really depends on is what promo packs that they drop, if they add any new preview packs, and just just the amount of supply and the, what, the way the market moves today with stuff that is in packs is going to very, very, very specifically depend on what happens here in the store today. If they drop 25K packs, 35K packs, It'll probably be a nice drop off in that first hour to, to two hours. You'll see a really hard dip on the gold card market. Anything that is in packs, you'll see a nice dip in the first, especially 30 minutes, right? Uh, especially if there's 25K packs with a lot of players in them. Now, if they release a brand new preview pack today, I mean, that's going to supply the market even more. That's going to make the market drop even more. I'm not expecting that. I'm just saying with these preview packs, we don't know when EA is going to release more of them. And with promo packs, are they going to release 45Ks in the store? Are they going to do lightning rounds? I think it's a bit early for lightning rounds, but we'll see what they do today. That's really going to dictate a lot of the market today is the supply in the store. But what I would 100% expect to see this morning is going to be more panic selling on Team of the Week cards, on icons, and mostly stuff on this game. Like, you're going to see a lot of cards dropping on the game. You've already seen some big drop offs. Phil Foden, 90,000 coins. I think overall, people are going to continue to be a little bit worried about the supply that is going to be coming on the market today because they know that packs are going to be open, FIFA points are going to be spent, and there's going to be new cards on the game as well, right? And those new cards take some of the hype from cards that were hyped up in the past couple days and places it on those new ones. So just keep an eye out today on the market for some panic selling this morning. Now you're gonna see some cards still fluctuate, right? Like Phil Foden is 90,000 coins right now at the moment. He might go back up to like 97K because you know he's a pretty rare card out of packs in form. If I go up to 97K, there's only a couple pages. You know, people are also starting their weekend leagues Friday morning as well, Friday into today. So you might see these cards rebound a slight bit for small periods. You also might see big drop offs. There's just going to be a lot of supply of cards that are in packs around that 6 p.m. time frame. So if you want any cards like out of this team of the week, watch their prices this morning. Lozano dropped off a lot, right? People are knowing 
People know that these cards are going to get packed a lot today. Lozano, 44,000 coins. He is down a bunch. Taylor Hernandez is 230. He's now 240. Uh, Navas is down a good amount. Malikovic Savage is down. So keep an eye on these informs. And for the rest of the market, right, we've seen a pretty solid drop off from the daily graph. If you see here, we were up at 71 points on Tuesday. We are now down at 66. I expect this to go lower this morning. I really do. And specifically, this is going to go lower Again, during the content drop, you're going to see a lot of your golds like a Hakimi, a Urente, a Ben Yedder, a Pogba, Foden, Messi, Sterling. Cards that are in packs today are going to get supplied heavily in that first little bit of time, especially if it's a really meta card. Like right now, people are using uh, the PSG center backs, Marquinhos, Kempembe, the Hakimi, right? The, the, the links with the Benzema player of the month are very hype at the moment. Watch some of these cards. These guys are going to move around. Take a look at Kempembe. When he got supplied today with marquee matchups, he went from 60,000 coins. And in this dip right here, he was actually down to 54, 53,000 coins, rebounded back up to 58, 59. So, you know, watch a card like this today. He might go down to 50K with some supply, but then he's going to bounce back up because this is a cheap card, but it's also one of the top tier center backs in the game. It's just crazy how cheap everything is this year and how much everything is basically just affordable. So keep an eye on some of this stuff today. If you want to buy a card for your team, I think that into the buildup to the promo today, whether it's a gold card, whether it's an out of packs card, you're going to want to keep an eye on a lot of these prices this morning. Would you want to buy pre Content pre 6 p.m. If you're going to buy a card pre content, it's got to be an icon, in my opinion. I think an icon today would be like the only type of card that I would buy on the market before the 6 p.m. UK content drop with the new cards and packs. Uh, that would be the only thing that I would really take a risk or a gamble on. Maybe a top tier hero card like Ginola or whatever, but even those, some of those cards might be affected. Ooh, 710 for Desai. That's pretty low. Wow. He's pretty low tonight. Wow. See, again, we're already seeing some, some low prices and some, some panic on some of these icons that are getting listed pretty low. You see open bid listings as well as people are just getting some of these cards out. Watch the selling and watch the panic on icons because they don't get supplied that much on promo Fridays. They get packed some, but not near as much as the rest of the market. That's why it's a bit safer to find price drops on them. So that would be one of the only things that I would look to buy pre 6 p.m., you know, unless you're trying to buy a team of the week card, you know, from or it's a ones to watch card, right? Maybe a ones to watch item or a team of the week card that is out of packs. Maybe it's a team of the week one Salah. If he's down at 600K, I think that's a good deal. Maybe it's Vinicius. Maybe he drops like 20 or 30,000 coins. Uh, or, or it's a team of the week two. Gabriel Jesus is down. You know, it's like some of the, these cards that are not in packs anymore, keep an eye on those today. There's some ones to watch cards that have games. Uh, tonight, right? We have a PSG game happening Friday night. Keep an eye on Hakimi. I think Ramos is injured, but you know, your, your Wijnaldum card, keep an eye on him. Your Messi card. I mean, this Upa Meccano is very low. Some of these cards have games on Saturday as well. So if you see panic selling on this tier, this side of the market, these OTW cards, that could be a place where you look into today as well. If you find some, some sell-off and some selling, there might be some investment or some even just quick flipping opportunities with those today as well. I love these hero cards. They're fantastic. They don't get packed that much on Fridays with promo supply, but they're still, you know, they still get affected by that pack supply. So we will see what cards drop today and how that affects the market. But again, the biggest thing that I want to stress to you guys today is that there is going to be a lot of supply and there is going to be um, some new cards on this game, objectives and SBCs that could be pretty hype. Now, remember, let's say we get like a, a Premier League striker objective today that is a, or an SBC that is a really, really good card. It's really, really good price. A lot of people go out and do it. Remember your, your, your links, right? We call complementary and substitution trading, right? Let's say a big time striker SBC comes out today. It's like 300,000 coins, 200,000 coins, but it's an insane card. You might see a lot of other strikers from that same league or other strikers, even in other leagues, strikers in total on the game drop down in price. That could be a, an investment opportunity for cards that drop down in price big time if they're very rare. There are other strikers in the game that people still like to use that are popular and meta. And also links to that card will definitely rise if it's a very good value SBC. So watch out for the objective, links to the objective card. And again, the substitution and complementary trading methods that you might see moving on the market today. 
the man, the thing that I'm the most curious about today is just to see how much buyback there is on basically the whole part of the market. I'm really curious to watch the team of the week four because especially cards like this Lozano, a lot of people are looking at this Lozano card at an investment. A lot of people want to buy this team of the week because there's some insane cards in team of the week four that people want to invest in, right? Because they're cheap before they go later on in this week because team of the week cards are usually pretty cheap on Fridays and Saturdays as we go out of this promo. So I'm very curious to see even this morning on Fridays, we've had like this Lozano card is a very good item. Uh, I know we've had we've had Pedro, but I mean, people were paying 70K for this guy, 60K, he's just dropped off all day. You know, if I see 42, 3, 42 43,000 coins on this Lozano, maybe even Friday morning, you're going to be able to, to, to trade with some of these fluctuations, even on Friday morning, if you want to risk it, right? So that's something out there for my guys that want to risk it a little bit. You will be able to trade with some of those fluctuations. But if you're looking to buy a team, I really think that in that first 30 minutes, to an hour, you're gonna see the most undercutting, the most listing. Watch out for people that are panic selling at the same time when those listings are coming on the market. It might make for a fantastic time to buy players on this game that are in packs, right? Let's say you want to buy Davies for your team, right? There's a lot of Bundesliga hype right now at the moment. If there is a Goretzka card today, a lot of people are probably gonna link him with this Davies card. Now Davies is in packs and he might start to rise even this morning into Fridays, people really think that might be Goretzka that is in. Just be careful, right? This card will be impacted at 6 p.m. Uh, and you don't want no, know what kind of objectives and SBCs might be released. If they release a Bundesliga left back SBC, that might drop this Davies card, even though people invested in it for a link to another item that's in the team, right? So just be careful with some of that stuff today. But again, there's going to be foot champions demand that people are playing their weekend league. There's also going to be a little bit of supply. So just to clue you in, be careful. Be careful with the market today because there should be a nice rise heading in, heading out of the promo. The first two to three hours of the promo, you'll see stuff go down. After that second to third hour, you'll start to see stuff go back up. But as we get into the nighttime, and by nighttime, I'm talking late night, early morning UK, like the, the weird, like the 2, 3 a.m., the, the hours, right? The late night owl hours of the night. Watch on some of these cards dipping low again. Last Friday night, we had a nice little market drop off as people, I think, were honestly selling their weekend league teams. Um, as they completed weekend league and opened their rewards and you know because you can get your rewards um, at whenever you finish your games and people quit out of games once they reach a certain rank to get their rewards instantaneously on the weekend watch for that same scenario and that same fluctuation to happen watch that friday night into saturday potential buy window on a lot of meta gold popular cards in this game, whether they're in packs, out of packs, just watch for some price ranges late Friday night heading into Saturday morning. And again, people are gonna wake up on Saturday and they're gonna be playing weekend league, they're gonna upgrade their teams, buy cards and stuff like that. So you might see some more price movements upwards after that. So just keep an eye on that stuff. I've been trading with a lot of the current team of the week, position change and chem style trading. It's been going pretty good. I've got a uh, Cordoba and a Griezmann here that I'm trying to get out still before today. Uh, and then I will be fully liquid heading into the content drop today on Friday. And we'll be looking to make some coins, play a couple weekly games and see what the content is today on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. So road to the knockout stage, right? It looks interesting. It looks pretty interesting. It's live items. People love live, live items. Um, and EA might overprice some SBCs and over, I guess, over require some gameplay for those objectives because they know that people love these live cards because it's Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. So I'm really excited to see what kind of cards we get today. I think it's going to be a blast of a day on this game. If you're excited again, hit the thumbs up. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.